Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And today is uh, sort of a question day uh, for me, asking you a question. Um, I went and swatched the Anastasia uh, palette over at Ulta, uh, the new one, the Nouveau, and I went ahead and did a look uh, that I think is a dupe for what's in that palette. And uh, for those of you that have the palette, uh, please let me know if it is a dupe. And um, I'll go ahead and get started on uh, what I actually did here. So at the Misha, and this is the BB Complete, um, yeah, it's a BB cream. And uh, this one is the one that's for a combination to oily skin. And I have it in shade 21. You can get it on the Amazon website. and. Um, Let's see, as far as what I went ahead and did next, I used the uh, Pretty Fresh by ColourPop, and that's the concealer, so it's this one right here. And, excuse me, as far as going ahead and doing my um, cheeks, I went ahead and used this one, which is the ColourPop Night Bloom. And uh, so that's what I have on there. And um, let's see. Yeah. I have uh, this one. I went ahead and mixed it with the Lumi from AOA. It's their golden apricot shade. So I actually have two on today uh, mixed as far as that goes. And then I did use the True Match Lumi Bronze. It. Doing a peacock look, I figured that this uh, bronzer that comes out to be a shimmery gold would probably be really good for a peacock look. And so that's what I have on there. And then I do go ahead and use both the uh, So Very Lovely and the uh, On The List. So I went ahead and mixed uh, these two palettes together to get the look. And from So Very Lovely, I used this shade as a dupe for the Wisteria shade in um, the new, uh, let's see, the new Anastasia Nouveau, Nouveau palette, yeah. So um, I used that color actually as my eyeliner and um, up on top here. And then I did go ahead and use the On the, on the List palette. And I used uh, this one as my inner corner highlight. And this is a new uh, palette from ColourPop. It's available over at Ulta. And then I did go ahead and use this color uh, right on the lid as the peacock uh, look. And um, this is the way that the look came out. So I definitely think it rates as a peacock look. I mean, I've been known to do a lot of peacock looks in the past. So, uh, yeah, I think it, and um, in my opinion, it is kind of a dupe of a look that you could get from that one. But I'd like to hear you and what you think about that. And then I have the Wet and Wild, and yeah, that's what I have on as far as the lips there. And um, I was going to go ahead and add a little bit to this look, so hold on for one second. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, so back again, and um, I have this one, which I think is a real technique uh, brush. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the ColourPop uh, Twist of Slate, and I'm going ahead and using this color down the right here, which is a blue, a nice, pretty um, slate, blue, slate blue, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can add some of this into the look. So I'm adding some of this into the crease and just having it meet up with um, this 
so that they connect at the corner here. I think we did that. Just smoothing it out a little bit. And let's clean it up a little bit. And I ran out of wipes, so I'm using my hands to clear to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. But yeah, I think we did it there. So uh, that's how it turned out. And it's a little bit more on the kind of dreamy look. I mean, it has a lot of smoky in it, but it's kind of doing a little bit more of a dreamy kind of look. And let me see if I can, that's a little bit more. Not the wipes there, but yeah, so this is the way that it turned out then. And that's the look. And um, let's see, I think that's about it. And thank you and have a great day, okay? Bye.